and welcome to my channel. I hope you're ready for another refashioning video tutorial where I'm changing a top into this amazing skirt. Throughout my video tutorials I do have a vague idea of what I actually want to achieve but it really is dependent on the whole process of me getting in there and trying to figure out how I can make sure that I have the minimum amount of waste as possible so I want to make sure I use all of this and also challenge my creative imagination to give you a functioning garment at the end of it so let's get started. I need to figure out how to make sure that I use everything there's nothing left or there's a minimum amount of waste so the sleeves are going to be like a bow detail towards the back I think but let's try it on and let's see what happens okay so I've got it on so I like the V effect I just need to be a little bit higher oh there that's fine it's things, isn't it? It's the sleeves. So if I bring the sleeves towards the back and do a bow effect, a little tie thing, I should say. <laughs> it's quite low, quite low down, isn't it? This kind of tie. So when you sit down, I'll be sitting on that. I don't want that to be the case. I want it to be higher or here. So, and so that this becomes fitted. It will fall down. Maybe tapered in at the hairline. Something like that. See, that is gorgeous now. It's absolutely gorgeous. This is good. So, right, so the back is obviously, that amount needs to be taken in so it stays up. That's quite a bit to take in as well, so I'm going to take it in at the side somehow like this. And raise this higher. I like the fact that it's coming around, this kind of waterfall effect is coming around towards the back as well. Because it's just, it can be quite see for it, you need to have more gathers towards the back. I think it will work. It will work. Okay, so what I need to do next is, I need to get it fitted at the waistline. So I have to take some of that in at the sides. At the side seam. Then we have to figure out how we're going to get this sleeve to be higher up the waist level here. So I'll be cutting that so it sits higher. Oh, that should work. So it's an interesting detail towards the back. So I'm going to take a couple more fittings in order to figure this one out. That's looking okay at the moment. So I just have to work on the side seams first and the tightening of the waist. So the next step is to get a pair of scissors and I'm going to cut from the side seam all the way up to the shoulder here, on the, the sleeve I should say, to this point here. Actually I'll put a pin in to make sure it's even on both the back and the front. There we go. Start from here and just cut straight up to that point there. It's kind of scary. Um, yeah, let's just cut. Let's just go for it. Can't be worried too much about these little waterfall frills at the moment. Let's just cut. Yeah. So I need to then take it to the sewing machine and close this seam here and repeat it on the other side. So this is a sleeve. 
So this is what's left of the sleeve. Take that pin away. I'm going to bring that to the back somehow. And I may just keep this bit on. I think I will because it has that waterfall effect to it. So I probably will not have any waste. So the next step is to repeat it on the other side and sew up the side seams. The side seams are now sewn. You can overlook and zigzag the raw edge. I haven't, um, but I do have video tutorials on how to do that, so I'll leave links to those in the description. So now I just need to pull this to the right side. Give it a little bit of a shake. Okay. Oh, it's okay, that's fine. Yes, I mean, I have to cut that away. There we go. Let's turn it to the back. So this is where the issue is going to be. It's going to be here, isn't it? So I may still need to, I will have to come and take in the top part of the top. <laughs> here um well let's try it on first and let's see what this kind of tie effect looks like at the back and whether it works it looks okay because it's all scraggly and even the sleeve ends are a bit pointy so yeah that works Let's go try it on. Okay, so here we have the sleeves. Um, it's working. Yeah, this is what I need to do is take in the sides about here and we'll just get a pin. And put a pin in here. So that's how much we're going to be able to take it in at the sides. But it works. I think it's working. It's like what the, the back is saying. I think that works. of perhaps narrowing it at the headline. Let's get sewing. So sewing up the sides here so it will fit better on my waistline. Well, now all I need to do is try it on and start wearing it. Okay so I know you can't see it but it feels it feels good. It really does feel good. It fits nicely off the waist and I'm happy. I'm happy the way it's turned out. Maybe not 100% sure about the tie and it's basically because it doesn't look as the 
aesthetically pleasing. Um, but the effect is there though, so that's good. And maybe once I've worn it, I'll be much more happy with the way it looks. I won't be sitting on it because it's quite at the lower base part of my back. So yeah, it's a good result. So if you enjoyed this video tutorial, then please give it a thumbs up. Please leave a comment below. Please do share it with your friends and family. And I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching.